공지사항 알려드립니다. 2021 여름 SAT 프로그램을 성황리에 마치고 새로운 2021 가을 SAT 프로그램이 다가오는 10월 9일부터 시작합니다. 이 프로그램은 12월 4일 SAT 시험을 목표로 둔 학생들을 위한 프로그램이라는 점 미리 알려드립니다. 학생들의 스케줄을 최대한 고려하여 수업은 매주 토요일, 일요일로 진행되며 매주 수요일에는 수업 이외로 학생들이 자유롭게 질문할 수 있는 수학, 영어 각각 2시간의 어피스아워가 제공됩니다. 자세한 스케줄은 웹사이트 snap-sat.com을 통해 확인하실 수 있습니다. 혹여 봉사활동이나 특별활동 혹은 다른 개인적인 사정으로 인해 수업에 불참하게 되더라도 매번 수업의 녹화본이 메이크업 링크로 학생들에게 제공되기 때문에 학생 본인이 편리한 시간에 놓친 수업을 들을 수 있습니다. 해서 시간대가 맞지 않아 수업을 듣지 못하거나 혹은 주말에 타이트하게 수업을 하는 것이 부담이 되는 학생들 역시 본인의 페이스에 맞게 수업에 참여할 수 있습니다. 6주 혹은 8주 프로그램을 등록하실 수 있으며 6주와 8주의 유일한 차이점은 2주분의 수업을 더 듣느냐 마느냐의 차이일 뿐 수업 내용 등은 전체적으로 동일하다는 점 알려드립니다. 수학 부분은 제가 직접 수업을 진행하고 영어 부분은 저희 강사진 중한 명인 레이 킴 선생님께서 도마타 수업을 진행해 주십니다. 레이 선생님에 대한 간략한 소개 및두 강사들의 샘플 강의 영상 링크들을 아래 설명란에 달아드릴 것이니 등록을 하시기 전에 꼭 자녀분과 함께 시청해보시기 바랍니다. 학부모님들의 관심과 성원에 감사드리며 믿고 맡겨주시는 만큼 저와 레이 선생님 모두 차질 없이 준비할 수 있도록 최선을 다하겠습니다. 감사합니다. Hi, I'm s e j u n I'm a second year nursing major. Um... at Northeastern University. <laughs> no, but definitely, um, it's, it doesn't really feel like a teacher-to-student relationship. It's definitely more like o p a t o d o n g s e n g relationship. Yeah. Thank you, Yeraba. I just thank you. Um, I was accepted to UC Berkeley. and UMass Amherst, um, UC Riverside, it's been a while, <laughs> I actually <laughs> forgot, um, where else, oh like Cal State, Long Beach, um, that's honestly all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> 어 있는데 나도 기억이 안 난다. <laughs> the, I guess it's a, yeah, because I did early decisions, so I only did a couple of schools for like early. I think originally because I didn't really have a dream school going into like the whole process, um, and at the time I thought Northeastern was still a reach school for me. So <laughs> I told you not a million. <laughs> <laughs> so just to like kind of increase my chances, I just applied ED, and I think because I just like the program that or programs that Northeastern offer, and since I mean I've lived in the West Coast all my life, so I wanted to experience somewhere different. So I thought it couldn't hurt to try to do ED and kind of leave it up to fate, I guess, to see if like okay. ED you once you get in, you don't really have a choice whether you want to go or not. So um, I guess okay. it was fate. <laughs> Honestly, last year, I think because of COVID, it definitely felt um, more emptier. Mm -hmm. So I didn't enjoy it as much because there was definitely a lot less stuff to do and there was less people out here. And I wasn't as used to like the cold weather too because mm -hmm. California just has sunny weather all the time. Um, but definitely this year, there was more like activities going on like on campus and like throughout the city too so it's definitely nicer and i definitely love it more here now i don't think i cared about ranking as much um i think environment 
of the school is important and like what programs they have and just like for me um like the city environment too whether it was like somewhere rural or like urban Mm -hmm. I personally want to go somewhere that was more in the city Mm -hmm. and not really rural because that's just what I like um so I think I just took those into consideration I think once you just get to whatever college that you decide to go to as a student um I think everyone in general at the same time just forgets about like the ranking like no one really brings it up anymore I know high school like a lot of students themselves would talk about it a lot um as well as like parents but I feel like once you like actually start going to college you think about more like about like what experiences you can have there and um like what you can do at the school to like get the most out of it okay okay especially for the the major that you have nursing would you say um the rankings actually matter or it doesn't even matter that much I don't think it matters at all, Mm -hmm. honestly, because for nursing, um, you just need to get like good grades and then graduate, take your license. And then everyone, um, I think, has like a fair chance of getting like a job at a hospital, um, whether it be somewhere good or not. Um, Yeah, I don't think for nursing it matters as much so um I feel like something like that it's more important to look at like the environment of the school rather than like ranking I typically don't sleep a lot so there's that too but um yeah I'm pretty busy like studying or uh I think also this year like I have a club like board position Mm. so with that plus like nursing curriculum like I am more busy um but I would say it's yeah pretty manageable I think the main thing coming to Northeastern was like their co-op program Mm. um and I think it was like as expected like they do I'm like actually in the process right now of like applying for co-op so next semester I'll actually be working like as a nurse Mm -hmm. at a hospital um so like they sit or like they said um they prepare you like pretty well throughout the process I don't think other than that there wasn't anything that was like unexpected in a bad way at least for like nursing like the students I think everyone is like super helpful and not just like in it for themselves but um like we like all try to like help each other out and stuff it's not really like a competitive environment it's more like um everyone's trying to get through things together which is really nice um I think something that I wish Northeastern had more of was like school spirit like we don't have a football team like somewhere like USC or like UCLA has like really big like football games and everyone comes out like dressed in like school spirit and stuff but um I think other than that yeah I think Northeastern like campus is really pretty I think at first um I did want like a bare campus um because Northeastern is kind of sort of on the smaller side I guess it's like a or mid-sized could, or yeah mid-sized yeah. but um I found like that walking from like one class to like another class like super far apart would be like super hard Mm. um because even right now like going from one end to another takes like 15 minutes and in the morning when you have a.m classes that's like really (laughs) tough (laughs) so if my campus was like larger than that then that would probably be really hard (laughs) 
I think definitely staying mentally healthy and um I know it's hard to like stay positive through the whole thing because even for me like <laughs> basically throughout the whole process like I really didn't think I would get into like <laughs> any college I don't know why you were worried about that. um <laughs> yeah it's like hard to have like confidence I guess because like college admissions is really unpredictable um and you like can't help but like compare yourself to like other people too yeah definitely trying to stay mentally healthy um try to like take breaks sometimes um let yourself have like a little fun from time to time not be like too like caught up or like too stressed out because in the end like (laughs) I know everyone says this too like you're meant to go or like the college that you get into like chose you for a reason or like you go there for a reason um and I really do believe that so just believe that everything will work out and you will get into a college (laughs) even if you don't think so because I really didn't think so myself and I think definitely like school environment just school vibe in general Mm. is important um also not just like the campus vibe but the surrounding like city or like Mm. uh what like activities you can do in it or um because I know like someone I know they go to certain school and like around them like there's like not much to do um so I think they like kind of found that um they don't necessarily regret it but I think it's something that they would have like probably taken into consideration if they were to go back. Um, So definitely like just overall environment, I feel like is really important Mm. too, because you're going to be there for four years and um, for you to like experience or like have certain experiences. um, I feel like, the environment really plays a huge factor. So I think that's really important. Just try to get like started early and try to just give your all within like a certain time frame mm. so you can finish kind of fast. And um, I know like writing a lot of like essays it's like really hard and can be draining right. it's definitely just you just have to like spit a bunch of like words on your paper whether it like makes sense or not and um, eventually they will formulate into something that will actually work um, I feel like instead of just like waiting around and um, really like hitting it close to the deadline I think just like spending as much as much time as you can just writing stuff and just trying to finish as fast as possible is really nice and I'm sure like you'll be glad by the end to that you probably like are done with your apps before like maybe your friends are and you'll just have like that stress um a little off earlier on too Mm. Mm -hmm. 인터뷰 끝!